There are some seriously dumb traffic laws on the books. I can't imagine police officers ticketing people for some of them. Here are some of the dumbest ones you've ever heard on a global basis. If you want to hear more, stay right with us. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is 4 Minute Friday. And here's what's going on in your automotive world. This week's show is brought to you by Wheelwish.com. Save money, save time. And it all rhymes. Absolutely great place to get your best price just like Priceline for a vehicle. Wherever you live in the world, there are some totally stupid traffic laws. You always wonder, how old are these laws? Who came up with these laws? Who knows, but they always seem to happen during the middle of the night, and some of these laws are can be pretty painful. So we'll start with the easiest one. This is no running out of gas in Youngstown, Ohio. So it's bad enough that you run out of fuel, you get stuck on the side of the road, you have to walk and get a tank of gas. I haven't done that in years. I had a bad gas gauge, but if you're foolish enough not to recognize that that little red light that says it's time to get gasoline is important, you could be that person. However, you can get a ticket for running out of gas in Youngstown, Ohio. By the way, that's near Nelson Ledges, which is the racetrack I learned how to drive on. Only truck drivers can spit out of their vehicle in Marietta, Georgia. Now this is obviously a very old law. Truck drivers apparently used to chew tobacco and they would spit it out the window. It's kind of gross because it could end up on someone or someone's car. But if you're in a bus or you're in a car, you cannot spit out of the window. It is illegal, you will get a ticket. It's a very strange law. I'm surprised it's still on the book. So if you live in Marietta, Georgia, you might want to bring it to the town people and say, this thing needs to go. It's the weirdest law. This law makes absolutely no sense. You can only hunt a whale in Tennessee. Now, Tennessee's a landlocked state. There's no oceans. There's no whales nearby. So why would you want to hunt one from your car? First off, hunting from your vehicle is probably not smart to begin with. You can use a tree stand. I'm sure you can find places out in the field to shoot things in proper areas. But in the state of Tennessee, you cannot shoot a whale unless you are in a vehicle. Not sure how to explain that one. If you can explain that one to me, just put the comments down below because it's an odd one. This one is kind of odd. There are no ice cream trucks allowed in Indianola, Indiana. Now, we all remember hearing the music going around. We hear it every summer. The ice cream truck is here. We used to grab quarters and run out to the street and wait for the ice cream truck as kids. But in Indianola, they don't allow for it. And the reason is they want you to go to their ice cream shops. So anywhere else in Indiana, you can have that little musical truck ride down your street and get your ice cream bar or your popsicle like we used to have little bomb pops. But in Indianola, mm, you're not allowed to do that. It's kind of an odd rule, but I guess they're limiting capitalism there. Nothing hanging from your rearview mirror in Decatur, Illinois. So that could mean fuzzy dice. That could mean your children's shoes. I'm not a big fan of that. Some people do that. N navigation systems, radar detectors, nothing's allowed hanging from your rearview mirror or below your rearview mirror on the windshield in Decatur, Illinois. I don't know if they're actually enforcing that law. I'm not really sure what the mindset was from behind that. But if you live in Decatur and you can explain it to us, I'd be interested because it's kind of an odd thing. I can see blocking your vision, get that, but fuzzy dice? I mean, what if you got a 57 Chevy? Isn't that kind of go along with the package? In the state of Oklahoma, you are not allowed to read comic books while driving. Now, first off, reading while driving is pretty stupid to begin with. It's the same as texting while driving or anything else that's distraction while driving. But comic books specifically while driving, I'm not sure who that's geared to. If you're a comic book fan, I mean, I've got old Archies in the basement, but if you're a comic book fan, why not read them while driving? Hey, I'm a Batman fan. Can I read Batman while driving? Maybe just the book version, but not the comic book version. Kind of an odd rule, doesn't make a lot of sense. It sounds like someone's anti-comics or anti-anime or whatever you wanna call that. If you're into either of those, you can also comment down below because I'd be interested in what the perspective is on that. On a global basis, I saw a lot of really dumb laws, but one of them stood out to me as being quite scary. You are not allowed to drive drunk in El Salvador. Okay, driving drunk is a stupid idea. Drinking and driving is a stupid idea. We get that, we all know that. You can buy a breathalyzer and you have to have it with you in El Salvador and it costs about $13 US. But if you get caught and you're drinking while driving, here in the US, you could lose your license, you can lose your job, your insurance can be canceled, a lot of things. But in El Salvador, they shoot you by a firing squad. 
I think that's a certain way to deter people from doing things like drinking and driving, which is stupid anyhow. But that's pretty serious. I, I'm, I'm not sure if that would actually work here in the U.S., but that would scare the hell out of a lot of people. And the dumbest law that I've seen, it's actually funny, I, I don't even know how it got on the books, but in the state of Florida, if you have an alligator and it's attached to a parking meter pole, you have to pay the parking meter, I don't know who owns an alligator, I guess some people do, because it's taking up a parking spot. Now, you're not gonna ride your alligator because you'd probably eat you, but apparently if you tie it up to a parking spot, you have to pay the parking toll. I, it, it makes no sense. Who's, who's actually giving tickets for some of these things? Hopefully they're not actually shooting people in El Salvador for drinking while driving. I think prison or losing your license is enough. But there are a lot of dumb laws in the books on a global basis. So wherever you watch around the world, if you've got better laws, I'm happy to do this again with some of the coolest and dumbest laws that you've got. There were some real dumb ones that were out there, like driving outside of your car at 65 miles an hour. But the key is if there's some stupid laws out there, we want to know about them. You can put them in the comments down below. Also, there were some really dumb trends that we found out there in the automotive industry. Those will be over here. We love your comments. Thank you for your shares. And we will see you next Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend.